We protect Saudi Arabia. Would you say they're rich? And I love the king, King Solomon, but I said, King, we're protecting you. You might not be there for two weeks without us. You have to pay for your military. If they refuse, then... Fired by Houthi militants from Yemen. The war in Palestine has reached regional levels. Yemen is one of the active fronts. Unlike other Arab countries like the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia or Jordan, Yemen is behaving quite defiantly. More precisely, the Ansar Allah party which represents the Houthi rebels. The Houthis have committed many provocative acts since the start of the genocide in Palestine. The Houthis have launched ballistic missiles into Israel and hijacked an Israeli ship. On the 3rd of December, the Pentagon said the US military were aware of attacks on the USS Kearney and commercial vessels in the Red Sea. And just a day before that, the Houthis began a general popular mobilization to participate in the battles on the side of the Palestinians. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was right. The Prophet said the people of Syria and Yemen are blessed, whereas Najd, Saudi Arabia, is a cursed area. I wanted to share this with you. Yemen is taking direct action against Israel, and the Houthis are causing a storm in the region, especially with keeping US allies, the makeshift camps, these so-called monarchies in check. The most important oil and trade route passed through the water borders of Yemen. Ships pass through the Bab al-Mandab Strait between Europe, Asia, Africa and the Middle East. The Red Sea accounts for about 10% of the $1 trillion worth of oil shipping. Now that's a big deal. A number of companies have already cancelled the route of transportation through the Red Sea, in particular the carrier Maersk and the oil company British Petroleum. Yemen has made it clear they won't stop till there's a complete ceasefire in Palestine and the genocide against the Palestinian people stops. <laughs> كل إمكانياتنا البشرية والمالية والاستراتيجية لتطوير يعني لتطوير يعني منظوماتنا العسكرية وعلى رأسها المنظومة الصاروخية والطيران المسير وبالتالي لا قلق مطلقا نحن يعني بل بالعكس نحن ننادي منذ زمن بعيد بأن بأن ندخل في مواجهة مباشرة مع الأمريكان الذين يجندون أذيالهم من 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 الأعراب على لقتالنا أين الولايات المتحدة لتدخل في حرب معنا نحن نحن مستعدون للمواجهة في أي لحظة وفي أي وقت and it's due to the Yemeni pressure now, the United States, Britain and France are urging Israel to curtail its illegal military campaign against the civilians of Palestine. Because the collective West don't really want the conflict to escalate. Yes, the Americans have sent two aircraft carriers out there to the Mediterranean. Britain also sent its own fleet, but the Yemenis aren't backing down. It looks like NATO countries will have to fight in the Red Sea, and the Americans know this very well, as they've already announced the formation of a multinational coalition consisting of the United States, Great Britain, Bahrain, Canada, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, and Spain. If you ask me, it's quite hypocritical to form such an alliance. US Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin says the actions of the Houthis threaten freedom and navigation and violate international law. However, what the Houthis are trying to do with their moves is to stop Israel from violating the very laws these Americans are so fond of. The pressure from Yemen is rising. Oil prices are rising. A number of carriers have begun transporting fuel along alternative routes, primarily around Africa. The situation remains extremely tense. In the event of another attempt by Houthis to board another Western or Israeli-linked ship, the coalition created by America may just have to step in, and armed conflict is certainly guaranteed. The Americans in general have a very relaxed attitude about Houthi rebels, especially the Biden regime. Democrats have been this pressuring Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and over their military operation against the Houthis in Yemen. The Americans and the world knows Ansar Allah, the Houthi rebels, is backed by Iran. But America has enacted harshly against the Houthis. That's because they can sell weapons to Arab regimes like the Saudis and the UAE who are fighting the Houthis. Also, there's another reason why the Americans are relaxed. Houthis haven't directly attacked American interests, but now it's all about to change. I don't think the Americans can remain silent. Soon it may come to the point that the Americans will carry out airstrikes on Houthi bases. Although it's quite confusing because only yesterday the Americans accused the Saudi coalition of creating a humanitarian catastrophe in Yemen. But this is how America operates. It has no friends, only interests. There's a bloodbath coming to the Red Sea. Saudi Arabia, due to its geographical proximity, 
could be targeted by the Houthis, or tankers carrying Saudi oil could be attacked. After all, Saudis have been very mute recently about their normalization with Israel, and the Houthis have attacked Saudis before. If that happens, then there will be a rift between Saudi Arabia and Iran, which will complicate matters, and Saudi Arabia may just start to show its true face the face of Satan, with its horns coming out, the horns of Satan. Saudi Arabia, who's desperate to openly make friends with Israel and welcome it as its protector in the region. The anti-Israel front will be weakened, unfortunately, since oil prices from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for Americans are much more important than the fate of the Palestinians. Things are going to have global implications. Iran is already provoking the Americans with attacks on its bases in Iraq and Syria. And if Tehran spurs on the actions of the Houthis, the Americans will become desperate and the conflict will spread across the region. Any further escalation is actually dangerous for both Iran and Saudi Arabia as well as for the Americans. The Americans don't really want to open another front, especially with what's happening in Palestine and Russia's special operations in Ukraine. And of course, with Saudi Arabia and Iran normalizing ties through the mediation of China. As for the Houthis, although they are backed by Iran, the Houthis make their own decisions. Tehran does not dictate to them. The Houthi movement is internationally isolated. It has nothing to lose. And if things escalate any further, then it's bound to expose Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain, and the rest of these makeshift camps who are merely paying lip service to the Palestinian cause. They don't care about Palestine. All they care about is their thrones. I see a new Arab Spring coming in 2024. Assalamu alaikum, have a wonderful night.